Hey guys, well I'm back at St Mary's Church in Battersea which I filmed before but it was quite a while ago now and um, I sort of got a little bit more sort of information. So before we look at the church I want to look around the graveyard because um, we've ended up here because we were going to go to a little park but it was full of young young um, youth at them playing football. These young pigeons all here. <laughs> Little pigeon fest. So we got a graveyard that has had a lot of the headstones removed and they're against the wall. Now St Mary's Church there's been um, a holy site here since 800 AD. So uh, that will get us just sort of coming up to the dark ages or whatever. I said I'm going to look at the graveyard and then I end up looking at the church. And that um, current building was uh, completed in 1777. And it's below ground, as you can see here. We'll have a look at more of this in a minute. I'm going to look at some of these gravestones. Walk through the Pigeonies. There's a few 1790 dates that I've seen already. 1816. 1908. quite strange to think that I'm walking over many people but I think there's probably a hell of a lot of stuff under London. It's just on the ground all over the place. It's a bit worn to see. Can't see a date. 1832, age 68 years. This is a memorial ground. There's one just chucked to the side here. Unwanted gravestone. bit of brickage there look that's marked it's a bit of old gravestone isn't it look 1824 god I wonder if I could have that that'd be bad wouldn't it if I took that naughty me very much a mishmash going on here gets a little bit sort of as you get into the rest of this sort of little wooded area of graveyard they sort themselves out a bit better but there's not a lot on them there's one here on the floor memory of George Andrews, late of the something, 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 can't read that, a bit clearer, oh somebody aged two years and eight months, four years, oh memory of May the 2nd, aged 2 years and 8 months, and then somebody aged 36. This is 
faced. Strange, isn't it? And here it's all crumbling away. 1831, 1833, all this surface all coming away. 18, 1795, it's quite clear, So yeah, this current church was apparently finished in, well, it's an old one, 18, um, 1777, but has been used since just before the uh, Dark Ages, 1815, so. Interesting, aren't they? There's a couple of these sort of crypt things. This is weird, isn't it? So the bricks are inside. Metal, bricks. It's obviously had railings around at some point. I can't see. Any date, it's all worn away. And we'll have a look at the church now. So yeah, none of these dates are sort of before 1790 odd. We're looking for a yew tree. Okay, right, so I'm at the back of the church. And I've Look at the brickwork. This has been extensively repaired, hasn't it? Repointed. And the bricks are lying uh, lengthways. So you just get the, the small end of the bricks, which will give it added strength. Portal and the rounded end. And I found some information about the round, these rounded ends as well. It's all to do with the energy containment and distribution. Blocked up something. This is what the 1777 guy would have sorted out, I guess. Sorted out a ruin. This all looks like it's... Um, don't know. New, old. So this is the side I was just at. And these obviously were at one time fully uh, part of a building and not halfway underground like they are now, or, or at least partly way underground. More gravestone here. I think this has all been put in, this is all new because this must have been a complete portal window like that one at one time. So this is a redundant church machine. All these, most of these have had the glass removed or new glass put in and that one's been blocked up. Sad to see. It just looks like crap now doesn't it really? Right, so here's our lightning rod. So lightning rods were introduced, goes right the way up to the roof. It's a pigeon, <laughs> it's nest. <laughs> hey mate. So it goes up to the roof and any electrical energy that is in the clouds would be diverted lightning down here and into something in the ground which will 
divert it. But pre these, the church itself would have had um, sensors and gatherers and use the energy itself. Right, let's keep going. Right, this was supposed to be handed on in 1777, which is probably right. It's not very nice, this frontage. Sort of like Greco, Romo, Romano, whatever they call it. It's a little bit of a... thingy. This to me means nothing, this frontage. Let's have a walk. These bricks here, yeah, so you can see from the, the ground level that it goes up and down and it's... So there's some enigmatic stairs here which go up and then inexplicably after walking about five foot, four foot, go down again. This area here is another graveyard, but you're not allowed in here with the dog. But I haven't got the dog here now, I've left it with my daughter. And here's the other side. So this is now a kindergarten in here. Two smaller door. That's wood. This has got to be quite old, is not it? Crypt. I look for graffiti as well. So maybe somebody might have signed something. Here we go again. Let's take that out and put that in. Yeah, that's a crypt window. The crypt under here. I wonder how deep down it goes. So these are all like gravestones here that I'm walking on as well. There's a few up here. Fantastic. Right, you can see just how it's been under something. Messed up brickwork. This is not a lot of traffic here, we're by the river. The Thames over here. Very pretty. Everybody's in a good mood because it's Easter. See the houseboat here with all the plants on? Nice little location, but right by the river. And obviously, at some point it was um, lower. And it, look how high the river is already from here. You can see how high the river is. I wonder, I don't know what those steps are about. Right, it's grand back. I couldn't go around the back last time I was here because there were a whole pile of children here. Here, buried windows under the wall. Which I most certainly didn't notice last time because um, this was a, the, ch the, kin the kindergarten was out. Here's a crypt with the top off coming off. Shall I shove it over a bit? Can't really see in. I think that might be a little bit too heavy for me to shift. It's a gravestone on the top. But you can't read. Yeah, this wall is now fascinating me. I 
Interesting, isn't it? Can you see it? I wonder what this was. And look at the brickwork. Well messed up. So I've got one of my daughters staying with me, one of my wayward daughters. She's come to stay for a while and I'm introducing her to the wonders of it. And she's just starting to get it. I mean, she's quite sort of um, absorbed with the real world or the other world. This here, look, this arch has been messed about with and there's some sort of... That just goes to a security light and a power box and... These windows, I would say, were probably put in in the 1777 <laughs> because they don't look in keeping with the stone. And down we go. I think the only way I'm going to be able to get into this church is by actually going to a service. 28 years old, 1821. Died April the 16th, so just past their anniversary. It's Elizabeth Hickton, daughter of Charlotte. helicopters here because we're by Battersea Heliport. Look at all the penthouses, all the rich people stuck here. Nobody in them. Probably come over for a couple of weeks a year. Yeah, so I've walked around and back to my starting point. And um, Hope you enjoyed a little look at Battersea Church. I just saw this on the way round and it's on the back of this gravestone. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It looks as if you could open this up. It seems to have like it seems to be like a repaired. It's quite odd, isn't it? Anyway, let's give her you a final nice shot. It's nice to walk around barefoot, I tell you. Is it just me or do these bottom steps look like wood? These look like wood to me. Can you see the grain? They're not wood now. A stone now. They look like wood. God, people are looking at me like I'm a lunatic, man. Crazy woman filming steps. You can see the grain. See the grain on here? Okay. So these are stone. These higher steps, obviously. And then these old ones at the bottom look like wood. That has been... turned to stone. Um, I don't know what this is. It's a uh, stone and it's about oh, three foot high and it looks like it may have been a capstone for something at some time and had something else on the top. And if you look, it's got like a little filled in hole in the top which looks as if it may have a spike to attach something and it's 
they've made some sort of like weird like montage of old bricks oh old gravestones and crypt tops with this thing stuck on the top and here's a little rose garden here that's memorial to the uh, Burma campaigners when you go home tell them of us and say if you're tomorrow we gave of today okay People talk in such loud voices. They really want to be heard. Shut up. These are the London bikes. You can just sort of pick them up. And everybody, whether they can ride a bike or not, is everywhere on them. Okay, the so last little look at the Thames. It's a lovely day. Oh, this is quite neat because this is um, 1767 on this gravestone. It says the church wasn't in its current condition wasn't completed till 1777, so that's quite an early date. Just a little bit to add on. Thanks for watching.